Hey, good morning everyone. Wednesday morning, the 3rd of March, 2021. This morning's devotion is a reading from the second book of Timothy, chapter 3, verse 15, which reads, How from infancy you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. When it comes to reading the Bible, many people are shy or will not even easily acknowledge that they have read their Bible, perhaps for fear of being mocked. For some, it is a book that scares them. And for others, well, perhaps they have no idea where to begin. And there are even those who are of the opinion that it is a book that was written long ago and has really no relevance for today or even the life that you live today. No, it's such an outdated book. Who wants to read an old history book? Come on, guys, get a life. Yet, for me... The more I read the Bible, the more it has relevance in my life and in the world around me. The message of the Bible is to share God's great love for each and every one of us which came together on the cross. These messages are true and despite all efforts have not been proven otherwise. Yet, sadly, there are those who will nitpick a piece of scripture, and one has to ask the question, why? Granted that when we look at a verse and we, and we do a little bit of discovery, when we do a little bit of detective work and search the historical facts, they serve to strengthen our faith and not weaken it. But when a person will nitpick and constantly harp on a certain portion of scripture or, or even a verse, for me it's a question of, are they not feeling challenged by that verse? Are they not feeling challenged by God to perhaps change something in their lives? And so they will try and wangle their way out, trying to find a little loophole. Lawyers are very good at this. And so they will find a loophole and say, but you know that was written at that stage. My dear friends, we need to allow ourselves not to be, or do not allow ourselves to be drawn into fruitless arguments about words or even confuse the difference between nitpicking and discovery. When it comes to reading the Bible, which is actually so much easier today because many of us have got mobile devices and many of us have got a Bible app on our phone. And so it is easy to access. But here's another question. You noticed I enjoy asking a lot of questions. I'm a nosy person. When last did we use the app, or even open it, or even perhaps update the app on the phone? Pointless having something around just because it looks nice on the screen, and we don't use it. Last week, I spoke, quoting from Psalm 119, verse 106, which reads, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. My dear friends, let us allow the scriptures to guide our footsteps along the paths of life, that there would be light for our feet and guide us. Because the path of life, if you haven't noticed, is full of snares and full of danger. Never fail to read or even meditate on the scriptures. They are a great source of comfort in times of sadness, and a great source of strength in times of joy. May the Lord be with you, may he bless you, may he cause his face to shine upon you, and be with you always. Goodbye.